Today we're going to be going through Park Sow. We're going to do it inside the roll and we're going to show you how it's done when you're applying it outside of a cheese sow context. It's very important to realise that there are three things that must be done at exactly the same time in order to succeed when doing Park Sow. And that is, I've got to get the puck right, my attack and my step. They all have to happen at exactly the same time. If I get the timing wrong, Peter will be able to counter me. And you can see that's not the result I'm after. If ever you're using the puck so on the roll, you want to get in, have the person under control and be able to hit them with your other hand. When puck sale is done inside the chisa environment, the person who's on the receiving end of it can always counter. There's a number of different counters, so today we're just going to focus on one. And that is that when I go to do my attack here, I'm Peter's elbow, he'll just toy ma and he'll do his jumps out to shut me down. So if we're rolling and I attempt to do the pucks out, that's the response. So if you're doing the pucks out of me, it's just a matter of sinking your elbow and changing the line and you should be in a position where you can hit if you do it well enough. It's important to realise that when you're doing something in chi sao, it isn't necessarily how it's going to be if you're going to use it outside of the chi sound environment. Now, regardless of how we could have ended up here and how our arms might be, it's just a clash outside to outside. All I need is a millimetre gap to get my hand through. If I get my timing right with my attack and my park sale and my step, I'll get through every time. 